Today on Hot News, I'll tell you where the angriest drivers in the country are. There's a new resource that will help you count your calories while you fly. I'll have the info. The upside to Britney and Paris overload. Yes, there really is one. Coming up. I'll show you a website that'll turn you into the next David Blaine. Maybe. Sunblock may not seem like a great gift, but there are 160,000 Americans who could probably use it. I'll tell you more. You made it through another week, so treat yourself to a little hot news, which conveniently enough, starts right now. You need to know how to stay cool behind the wheel, especially if you're driving in Miami. For the second year in a row, Miami tops the list of cities with the worst road rage. The Auto Advantage survey also turns up angry drivers in New York, Boston, LA, and DC. How do people react? Horn honking tops the list, followed by cursing, waving a fist, making an obscene gesture, calling the cops, and 1% actually slams into the car in front of them. Easy, tiger. By the way, the survey found that when it comes to road rage, women are just as likely to go nuts as men. You know, here at Hot News, we think everyone should know how to do a magic trick or two. And LearnMagicTricks.org is an excellent place to begin. And you know they mean business because they have a .org. It has hundreds of videos of people demonstrating how to do simple illusions, and you can watch them all for free. New ones are added every day, so no matter how bad you are, there's going to be something you can pull off. However, most of the people demonstrating the tricks are 12-year-old boys. It's a little weird taking notes from some kid in braces. Yo, kid, try this one out. Just call me Gandalf. Which of the following must a groom promise his bride in a traditional Scientologist wedding ceremony? Is it A, clothes, B, a comb, C, a cat, or D, all of the above? The answer just ahead. So which of the following must a Scientologist groom promise his bride? The answer is D, all of the above. Just what I've always wanted. Brittany, Lindsay, Paris. In the last year, out of control celebrities have kept gossip bloggers busy. We asked the students of Seton Hall, has seeing these girls get into trouble made you reevaluate your own behavior? Um, yeah, it, it, it makes me kind of more aware of like, what people are doing right now. Like, you know, kind of look at you for your friends and see, like, are they okay? Not really. Like, I, I see the TV and I sort of laugh at all of them. I can't say that I've been aware of any of my own behavior any more so because of the recent coverage of you know, Britney Spears or whoever else it might be. I think that the whole issue revolves around confidence and that if you have confidence in yourself that you really don't have to turn to things like that. Okay, so it looks like Britney and Paris might not be your role models after all, but that's probably a good thing. Some people who fly are worried about plane crashes. Others are worried about how many calories those peanuts have. If you fall into the second category, the website dietdetective.com has rated the food offered by nine airlines for its nutritional content. According to Diet Detective, the healthiest food is provided by United Airlines, Continental Airlines, and Midwest Airlines. The least healthy in-flight meals are provided by US Airways, Northwest Airlines, and Southwest Airlines. Of course, dietdetective.com didn't take into account how the food tasted, so you're on your own there. If this is your brain, this is your brain on Jon Stewart. Mmm, delicious. Here's a clip from The Daily Show. Hour one, our melting cities. New York City used to be covered in ice, but now the ice has been reduced to this oval called the Woman Rink. The Woman Ice Rink was probably the toughest part of the shoot. Warmer temperatures threaten this once majestic urban ice cap. Will the ice survive? Our planet's experts fear the worst. Guy who works at Ice Rink. When will all this disappear, Jesse? Oh, uh, well, the ice will disappear in April. So in our lifetimes? Yes, but in the following year it will reappear. God willing. I think it's man that's taking care of this rink. Man willing. Man willing. Am I wrong? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh.
Coming up, I've got your fashion fix just in time for a big weekend out. Stick around. Ladies, if you're looking less like a bright-eyed, eager college student and more like Amy Winehouse on a bad day, Lucky Magazine has a tip to brighten your eyes. Here's your fashion fix. The editors tell us Kimoko's Multitasker Treatment Concealer is the bomb. They say it depuffs, brightens, and helps fight fine lines. But prepare to pay for perfection. It costs about 40 bucks. <laughs> I'm sure our troops appreciate you saying how much you support them, but you know what they would really appreciate? Sunblock, chips, and DVDs. Consider putting together a care package to brighten a GI's day. There are a bunch of websites with information on how to get that stuff to someone who needs it. Make sure you include a personal note letting them know that they kick butt. Well, that's all the hot news we have for this week, but as long as things happen next week, we'll be here to tell you about them. I'm Erin. See you Monday.